could tell I've been to everyone. Today, I'd like to tell you a story entitled The Tortoise and the Hare. Once upon a time, there lived a tortoise in the hillside of far of the country. The hillside was a very nice place for a tortoise, as it had a lot of leaves and grass for the tortoise to eat. The tortoise liked to take his time to walk to a nearby bush to munch on the green leaves all day. The tortoise had a neighbor who lived on the next hill. His neighbor was a hare who loved hopping around the hillside. He liked moving fast, so he always teased the tortoise for moving so slowly. See you later, Slopa. He was shocked whenever he saw the poor tortoise. The tortoise didn't really mind, but after a few times, it did get a little annoying. One day, the hare joined the tortoise to a race. Of course I'm going to win. I'm much faster than you, said the hare. The tortoise accepted the challenge. The day of the race came, all the animals came to watch. On your marks, get, set, go! The hare quickly hopped off down the hill. It hovered and hopped. And soon, the tortoise was left very far behind. The hare slowed down. He looked behind him, but he could no longer see the tortoise. Surely, the, the tortoise was never going to catch up to him. The hare slowed down. He looked behind him, but he could no longer see the tortoise. Surely, the tortoise was never going to catch up to him. The hare was confident he was going to win. The tortoise was slow. He probably won't be finish the race until tomorrow. He should take a nice long race. He stopped walking and sat down under the shady tree. He, clo he closed his eyes soon. He was fast asleep. Meanwhile, the tortoise kept walking on foot at a time. It was slow, so it was slow because his shawl was heavy and his feet were short. But he didn't give up. And so he had reached the tree where is the hare is sat napping. He was still fast asleep. The tortoise walked on, slow and steady on consistent. Soon he could see the finishing line marked the end of the race. The hare woke, woke up with a start. He couldn't remember where he was at first, but, he, but then he remembered about the race. Oh no, he needs to be quick. He quickly hopped towards the finishing line, but it was too late. The tortoise had already won the race. The hare fell humbled by his loss. He resolved that even though he was fast, he didn't mean he didn't mean he could make fun of others for their weakness. He apologized to the tortoise, which the tortoise accepted, and they became a good friend that thereafter. Ladies and gentlemen, we should. We should learn from this story as well. We should never make fun of other people. But instead, we should be nice and understanding. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.